Hello and welcome to another State of the Collection watch review from Mike's Watches. So, this uh, channel we're watching today, we're reviewing his State of the Collection, is a channel called Watch You Want. Okay, it's got 3,000 odd subscribers. Um, I am not subscribed to this channel. Um, I have also not actually seen this video yet, so I'm going into it blind. Um, let's see what he's got. I am recording. Let's double check. I actually am recording. Yes. So, am I recording? <laughs> yes. So, he's got a Seiko XKX. A, I believe that's another Seiko. So we keep the XKX. This is a getting back to the duplicate Seikos uh, in the collection. As we all know, we only need one manufacturer per collection, and we need watches of different functions so we don't need no one really needs three divers and don't, we don't need three seikos so out of those three seikos i would choose the skx it's more modest probably not the most expensive seiko he's got but a more modest collection a better um certainly a better a better uh beta watch um if he sells the other t two seikos you know that could go towards taking these this original XKX for a service, get its all its um service and movement, um get, made, get all the seals checked so it's water resistant, so even the movement changed you could get that done. But um that would be the Seiko I would choose. He's got a I'm not quite sure what that is from there. Um okay let's go big full screen, sorry. For this one, not quite sure what that else sin. Yeah, actually, that's quite nice as well. The sin, then he's got, yeah, okay, it's a bit more of an upmarket than the Seiko. He's got the Mega Speed Master, which is nice. It's got the Rolex Air King. So, just off the top of it, if that is his only collection, and we go through it in a minute, I would choose XKX, uh, the sin, the Amiga Speed Master, and the Rolex Air King, of course, and dump these two Seikos. Assuming they're, yeah, they are both Seikos, you can see the prospects X on them so <laughs> we've kind of decided before you see any videos so let's let's put the, those judgments aside and let's have a look at this at uh, the video yeah very nice very very nice very good condition everywhere and I decided to go I like that. Nine this time because yeah, I do like it. I think it's an absolutely classic really Seiko. If you are going to have a Seiko so and you are going to have a diver, that's the one to have. So yes, um, we like that. So yes. This other Seiko he's got. Let's just have a quick look. Very nice bezel action. Pretty large it's wash. It's nice. I don't like that so much as the XKX, even though it's more expensive. So not so classic. That's actually the SLA 023, and um, it's a beast that wears pretty small. That's, um, yeah, actually, that is actually quite a nice SLA 23. You're saying it's, mm, it's quite a close call between that and the SKX. Looking at that more in detail, no, I think the SKX is a better all rounder, to be honest, and it's more well known. Yeah, I'll go with the, the, illusion. The, the proper serviced and working SKX over that, sorry. It's great. Ceramic back. So dump those two it's last Seikos and then we've got the sim. Let's get the sim coming up, mates. I'm going to keep it off. Okay, let's just go towards the sin. Timing. So sin, actually, I've not actually mentioned on this channel. Um, I did say in the previous video that you know the preference of um, watch countries, watch manufacturing countries to go to would be Switzerland or Japan. Uh, obviously, Germany. Um, Germany is another country. You had to, if you had to name three countries that uh, make the best watches, uh, would have to be Germany, Switzerland, and Japan. In my opinion, of course. So, Sin is obviously a, a German brand, um, and it's. It's quite, it's quite like Sim, quite understated. Um, he's got the problem though, he's got two divers there if he keeps the Sin in the SKX, but yeah, I would I would keep that Sin in the collection it's, um, for a nice, what's gonna be a nice four piece collection. Kind of like a middle, middle of the range um, piece. I do like that Sin, yeah. I recommend, um, 
Yeah, is it a nice small glass? Yeah, no. It's just. And it's so. Yeah, very nice. I do like that white dial. It seems to. White dials don't seem to work a lot of, um, lot of dials, yeah. but it does on that. This, this is, yeah, absolute classic Amida Speedmaster Professional, uh, original model. Um, I believe that's a Hesalite crystal, not the sapphire crystal version. Could be wrong, that shine. But. Of course, the only downside of this watch is it has no water resistance, and also it's not automatic, so it needs that to be it's a hand wind, which you would think at the size of it, it would be automatic, but um, they're not actually all hand wind, so that is nice. Definitely keep that in the collection, yes. We love this watch because it's... That's a very, quite a good everyday watch. It's it's even though... though. Micro just... That perfect. Okay, let's go towards the Rolex Air King is going to show next. Substitute for rolling. Tell yeah, so the Rolex Air King is quite an unusual Rolex. Um, it's probably one of the few Rolexes have a, a colourful dial. Got um, yellow and green. Well, maybe the mill gas also. But I do, I do like the uh, Air King. It's um. Not a well-known uh, model sports Rolex, but yeah, I like that. I like that. That's good. And it goes well with this collection. That's, that's quite well matched, I would say. So let's see, if we see if he's got any other little ones. He's going to show at the end. And what in general? And please, guys, please. Okay, so yeah, that is the end of that. So. Absolutely, we are very impressed with this collection, very impressed. It's got a nice small number of watches, six, which is the perfect number. The only criticism is he's got three Seikos, but I would dump two of those Seikos, so he's just got one, you only need one Seiko. So, yeah, as I said before, SKX you could keep, get it fully serviced, uh, fully sealed, so you can use it as, a, as its intended purpose as a diver. Um, dump these two Seikos here. Um, Keep the thin, um, it's kind of like a middle, it's got a middle ground in it to these more higher pieces, these two higher pieces here, more of a middle ground, which kind of quite works quite well. You've got the Seiko XKX as a beta, you've got this as a kind of everyday, understated everyday, you've got the Mega as a more kind of upmarket everyday, and you've got um, the Rolex as the best watch you've got. So, if I was going to criticize it, there's kind of like no real dress watch. Um, yeah, and they're all kind of like diver-ish. As you could say, that's an air watch, and these are sea watches, and this is a land speed watch, or actually a moon watch, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, very impressed. Very impressed with that uh, collection. Um, just so the, my recommendation is to get rid of the two Seikos and have a four-piece collection, and then service SKX. Maybe added like a nice dress watch to the collection to make it more well-rounded. But yeah, very impressed. This is. Uh, a review of what you want. In fact, I'm so impressed, I'm going to subscribe to the channel. So, yep, yeah, very good collection there. So, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.